Hello everyone, welcome to automation community. Today in this video, we are going to develop ladder logic from digital logic circuit. So let's look at the example first. Example 22. As you can see here, there are five inputs A, B, C, D and E. And for input A and B, for input A, B, C and D, we will use normally open contact. And for, uh, for the input E, we will use normally closed contact. As you can see here, there is not logic gate. So, we will use a normally closed contact for the input E. And then, we will use, we will implement OR logic gate. Sorry, AND logic gate between A and B. So, we will connect A and B in series. And then we will connect C in parallel with A and B so that we will implement OR logic gate. And then we will, uh, we will uh, insert a normally open contact for input D in series with A, B plus C. And E as normally closed contact will be connected in series. So let's move to TI portal where we will draw a ladder logic for this digital logic circuit. So this is the interface of TI portal. I will go to PLC tags, default tag table, and here we need to add our inputs and outputs. So we have five inputs A, B, C, D, and E. And then we have an output that is Y. So the address of this Y will be Q, 0, 0. As it is an output, so the address will start with Q. So after that, I will minimize this. I will go to program blocks and then main OB1. So here we will draw the ladder diagram. So I will zoom in. And then for A, I will insert a normally open contact. And for B, I will insert one more normally open contact. And I will connect them in, in series with each other. And then the second one is B. And then we have C that is to be connected in parallel with this AB. So I will open the branch at normally open contact and then connect it like this. So this is C. And then we have to implement and logic gate. For D, we will insert a normally open contact and then one more and logic gate for the input E. And there is not logic gate, so we will use a normally closed contact for E. And then for output, I will insert a coil. So this normally open contact will be D and then it will be E and then it will be Y. So for output Y to be on, D should be on and E should be off. So there is no choice uh, of D and E. So D should be on and E should be off. And then we have a choice either A and B both should be on or only C should be on. So first, uh, first one that is if A, B, D is on and E is off, then output Y will be on or C and D will be on and E will be off, then output Y will be on. So in case A, B and D are on and also E is on, then the output Y will be off or C and D are on, E is also on, then output Y will be off. So E should be on and D should be on and then A and B or C should be on. So I will start the simulator. I will load it and then click on finish. After that, I will start CPU and then start monitoring. After that, I will switch to project view. So here, let's create a new project and let's wait for it.
I will go to simulation tables and simulation table 1. And after that, I will right click here and then load project tax. So now we can start the simulation. So for output Y to be on, D should be on. So I will turn on D first and then E should be off. We will keep E off and then we have a choice. Either A and B both should be on. When I turn on A, Y will be off. And when I turn on B also, the output Y becomes true. And then instead of A and B, I can simply use C. And as you can see here, the current will flow through this and the output Y will be on. And then if I turn off D, the output Y will be on. And then when I turn on A and B, only the output Y will be off. So for output Y to be on, D should be always on and E should be off. If I turn on the input E, as it is a normally closed contact, in true state, it will not allow current to flow through it. As a result, this output Y will be off. So when I turn it off, as it is a normally closed contact, in false state, it will allow current to flow through it. As a result, this output Y will be on. It was all about this example. Thank you for watching.